Swati Krupp and welcome to Phuket Extra for the last time this week. Well, they just can't take a trick at Sam Kong intersection. Following last night's deluge, there's been a complete subsidence of the right-hand lane of the traffic heading south past Tesco Lotus. The road has sunk up to half a metre with cracks opening up along the road. Now, there won't be any quick fix for the problem, so expect long delays if you're heading south any time over the next few weeks. The problems at the Sam Kong underpass have also attracted the attention of the Thai Ombudsman's Office with a visit to the troubled construction site yesterday. The Ombudsman, Kun Boon Tapanadun, says the office has received many complaints about the long delays, the bad condition of the roads around the site and the safety problems associated with the construction. The latest finish date is May this year. I would politely suggest that that's being very optimistic. Despite the country's troubles, Thailand's tourism industry seems Teflon coated with none of the problems sticking. JP Mustanza reports. Thailand must be doing something right, as the kingdom is clearly Asia Pacific's most popular tourist destination, according to MasterCard's Asia Pacific Destinations Index 2015. Bangkok was far and away the most popular city by arrivals, with 22 million international overnight visitors in 2015, a staggering 28% growth from the previous year. The Thai capital saw nearly 10 million more visitors than second place Singapore, despite the military government and a bombing last August at the Era 1 shrine. Thailand was also the only country on the list with three destinations in the top 10. Phuket was ranked 5th with 9 million visitors and Pattaya was ranked 8th with just over 8 million visitors. Rounding out the top 5 were Singapore at number 2, Tokyo at number 3 and Kuala Lumpur at number 4. JP Mistanza reporting for Phuket Extra. And we have more of Phuket Extra in a moment, including an update on the woman who threw the dog out of the Bangkok window. Mervyn Pick Resort proudly presents the new Day Pass. Don't hesitate anymore. Your ultimate luxury experience is waiting for you at Mervyn Pick Resort, Bangtao Beach, Phuket. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. The transgender woman who threw her roommate's chihuahua puppy from the fifth floor apartment on Lad Prao is now in jail. Pra Kanong Provincial Court in Bangkok sentenced the 22-year-old to two months in prison, commuted from four months after she confessed to throwing a chihuahua from the apartment and leaving it to die on Monday night. Yon Lada will appeal the case and is requesting bail. Big rains last night, particularly around the centre of the island. Torrential rain continued for three hours, flooding roads and causing accidents. The heavy rain is very uncommon for January and is associated with the huge high pressure system over the west of China, sweeping colder air down the Malay Peninsula. And Deputy PM Prawit Wongsuwon is ordering state agencies to find a solution to the land dispute that led to attacks on sea gypsies living in Rawai Beach on Wednesday. Prawit is calling for an end to the violence, which broke out when a group of sea gypsies were attacked by a group of men at the 33 Rai property that blocks a walkway to the sea gypsies ritual site. Baron World Trade claims to have legally obtained the land's title deeds and is developing villas on the plot. Well, that's all for a very busy week around the country. We'll have our top five stories on the weekend's Phuket Extra Extra. That's online around 11am tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing weekend.